Hi, in today's video, I will show you how to hide a file and a folder of files inside an image. This is a common technique used by hackers to cover or hide their trail to avoid getting detected. So first, how to hide a file inside an image. And before we begin, we need a few things. Right now, we are in my desktop using my Windows PC. And this is the image that we will be using to hide our file. We duplicate a copy of the same image to keep the original one intact. Next, we have the text file that we want to hide. And once we have the image and file ready, we pull out our Windows command prompt by typing command prompt into the Windows search bar at the bottom left of our desktop. Now in our command prompt, we need to navigate to where our files on the right of the screen are located at. We do that by copying the location as shown and type in the command prompt cd space the copied location and hit enter. To verify that you are at the right place, type in dir and hit enter. You should see your images and file appear in the command prompt. Now finally, we are going to hide the text file into the image. So what we do is type in copy space slash b space the name of your image plus sign and lastly the name of the text file or whatever file you want to hide. Once you are done, hit enter. Now if we type dir and hit enter into the command prompt, we will notice that the size of the image with the hidden text file is larger now. Now when we look at the image with the hidden file, it looks just like the original image. But if we were to open it up using a text reader like Notepad and scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file, we will find our hidden text in there. We have learned how to hide a file inside an image. Next up, let's see how we can hide a bunch of files inside an image. This time, we are hiding the same text file as before and also an internet browser application folder. You can hide just about anything you want in your computer. And that is what the hackers like about. Similarly, we duplicate a copy of the image to keep the original one intact. Now here's the trick with hiding a bunch of files. We compress all of them into a zip file. Select the files we are compressing, right click and select any zip application. In my case, I'm using the 7-zip file manager, a free archiving and zipping tool. Leave everything else as default and hit OK. And we are ready to hide the file. Again, we pull out our Windows command prompt. Navigate to the location where our files are located at. Type DIR and hit enter to make sure that you are at the right location. You should see all your files in the command prompt. And finally, to hide the file, type in copy space slash b space the name of the image, a plus sign, name of the zip folder, and hit enter. Now, after all the magic, let's try to look for our hidden folder inside the image. We open up the image and it looks just like the original image, nothing fishy. But when we use our zip application to try and unzip the image, look what we found. The Internet Explorer application as well as our text file. And there we have it, how to hide files inside an image. I hope you learned something new today and if you found it useful, please share it with your friends and family.